Rosie Batista with SleepingNakedAfter40.com and I'm here today to show you how to make a pecan sweet potato pie. Now this pecan sweet potato pie has no refined sugar in it because the sweet potatoes are yummy sweet. We don't need to add a sweetener and the crust is made with dates which are nature's sweetness and nature's candy. So what I've done is I've soaked a half a cup of dates overnight to make them really soft and I have a half a cup of pecans and a half a cup of walnuts. So now we're going to add these three ingredients to our food processor. You can also use a blender if you don't have a food processor until everything kind of mixes together and we form a crust-like consistency. Okay, I'm adding in my soaked dates, adding in my pecans, and I'm adding in the walnuts. Now we're going to swirl this together until we see everything kind of mixing together. I'm going to just check on that. Yeah, that looks pretty good. We're just going to chop it a tad more. Okay, that's it. Perfect. We're going to just scrape out our crust, our nuts and our dates, and we're going to spread it out in the bottom of our pie pan just like we would a crust. And just kind of work your way around up the sides, being sure to cover everything. There you go. And now we're ready for our filling. So there are two ways that you can do this pie. You can actually Use a sweet potato that you have baked and take out the insides, or you can buy a can of organic sweet potatoes, which I love because I always have them on hand and it's really easy. And they're just sweet potatoes that were baked in a can. So we're going to take a can of the sweet potato and we're going to put it into our blender. Okay, for our second ingredients, I have a half a cup of coconut meat. Now this coconut meat came in a jar. It's also known as coconut cream or coconut butter, where they actually take the meat of the coconut and they just put it in a jar. There's nothing else added to it. I'm adding half a cup of almond milk and a teaspoon of nutmeg, a teaspoon of cinnamon, and a tiny sprinkle of ground cloves. Now this is a great pie to make for Thanksgiving instead of all that gooey, sugary, messy marshmallow pie. This is gonna be as sweet and delicious and really nutritious as well. So now I'm going to just blend these ingredients together. Now all we need to do is just scoop out the sweet potato mixture and put it right into our crust. And you want to spread out your mixture right up to the base of the crust. And we can sprinkle with a little bit of extra cinnamon. And actually if you wanted to, you can take and you can push down the crust just a little bit to kind of surround the mixture and make it look gorgeous. So that's it. We're going to take this and we're going to put it in our refrigerator covered for about four to five hours and then it's all ready to serve. Sprinkle with a little extra cinnamon, and if you want to get really fancy, you can take some shredded coconut, and we can sprinkle that on top. I'm Rosie Batista with Sleeping Naked After 40, and this is how to make a pecan sweet potato pie. Ciao for now.